You might wonder, what's the difference between a dry wine and a sweet wine? And how do we make dry wine and sweet wine? Well, there's, it's not simple, it's a complex thing, but basically, the longer the grape is ripening on the wine, the sweeter it becomes. That sweetness gets transformed into alcohol later in fermentation. You then have some varieties which we call the late harvest, you might have seen those, which are harvested really, really late in May or even June. They then have ferment alcohol to 8, 9, 10%, but they're so sweet that not all the sugar can turn into alcohol. And you have a residual of sweet wine, a dessert wine then that way. Dry is also, it's another, some people have various tastes for dry. What is dry to somebody is not so dry for somebody else. And what's sweet for some person might be dry for the other person. So we all have changes in our, on our palate, on our taste. Uh, more traditionally, you will have Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc dry, and other varieties invite themselves more to be sweeter, such as Riesling or Semillon. Then again, you can have Semillon dry. The confusion comes, I'm sure, for the consumer when you stay, when you go and want to buy a wine. It doesn't sometimes say is it sweet or dry or medium or whatever. But often the back label will tell you more information, and it's. It's just the beauty of wine where everything can be different from vintage to vintage and in different countries these wine styles also can change where in some countries a Pinot Gris is bone dry in other countries it's more sweeter like in Germany, Germany makes Pinot Gris in a sweeter style in general and Italy makes it more drier so that adds to the complexity I think really of the wine and you just have to try more wine and find out what they taste like.